Let's talk about wetting the bed. I don't mean little kids. I mean us older people. <laughs> when I was, uh, it started as a little kid, okay? I started dreaming about in the middle of the night, I'd be in an old-fashioned, not exactly grocery store, but it was a, like a hardware grocery store, like an old-timey old mercantile place, and it had wood flooring, and there were people walking around all over the place, not even looking at me. But here I am at the end, what they would now call an end cap, at the end of this, this aisle, there would be a toilet. I would wake, I would be sitting on this toilet, and I knew that if I did not wake myself up, I was going to go to the bathroom right there. Sometimes I didn't wake myself up, and I caught myself going, <gasps> a quick run into the bathroom, finishing up, coming back, and having a towel, and laying it all down, and oh, how nuts. Anyway, this girl wrote to me and she says, I feel so humiliated. I don't know what to do. Oh my God, oh my God. I just, I can't forgive myself. I got drunk and went home with this guy and I went all over the bed and I peed all over him. And I'm going, why did you get drunk and go home with somebody? Oh. But anyway, uh, that's my own little judgment. So anyway, this dream recurred on and off, on and off, on and off all my life and when I was married the same dream would happen and I went all over my husband I don't know how it happened he did not wake up I caught myself in that general store you know just ready to just like let her go and so anyway he never knew it I got a towel real fast and I sopped and dobbed and dabbed because I knew he, as soon as he got up in the morning he would sh shower. <laughs> so anyway, here we are. Um, this happened with a guy that I was living with too. <laughs> and what was so funny? <laughs> he thought he did it. <laughs> what a joy for me. I'm sure you did it. Oh my God, I can't believe that you did this. And he's going, sweetheart, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. So he brought the towel, he got the towel. I says, it's all over me too. So he got the two towels, one for each of us. And we sopped and we wiped and then we each slept on a towel all night. He never knew it was me in that mercantile store with that stupid toilet at the end of the aisle, right? Bless his heart. He's dead now, so maybe he already knows. Sorry about that. Anyway. <laughs> It wasn't until I was helping, um, I co-published a magazine back in the, um, back in the 80s called uh, Fort Myers Life, and we had in the little corner, Get a Life. <laughs> anyway, he had, the guy that I hooked up with as a partner for this magazine had an advertiser that was a hardware store. And he says, Beck, I need you to run in and, and you grab the ad, because he says, I'm going to be working on layout if you don't mind grabbing the ad. I had never been in this place before. Um, to like look around and everything. I went in and the uh, owner says, he says, um, I'll be with you in just a little bit, wander around, do whatever you want, or here's a chair over by the thing. So I thought, well, let me just wander around because I needed to see what they had anyway. He wrote really good articles as well. And um, so as I'm wandering around, I'm going, oh my God, at the end of one of the aisles was a toilet. I'm looking around going, is this a dream? And the floor was the same, and the layout was different, because in my dream, I'm sitting here, the people are milling around, and here's a, a, a you know, like a, a counter over here. Well, instead, this, this aisle separated here, and then there were two, two um, end caps here, so it like faced down um, an aisle, and then way, way back in the back over there was the, uh, was the uh, cou uh, counter. I'm sitting there going, I mean, I'm standing there thinking, oh my God, this is my dream. And so I went around and turned my back to the toilet and looked down and I went, oh my God, I'm really awake, right? Hello, I'm awake, I'm pinching myself, am I awake? Because I don't feel like I have to go to the bathroom, but I don't trust myself. <laughs> but anyway.
this girl was all whipped out of shape and everything that had written to me. She was 30 years old. I said, baby, wait till you get our age. I said, when it comes to Depends, it doesn't come in a bikini or thong <laughs> defense. I'm kind of glad about that. But please, please don't ever have make me have to like investigate into like really having to deal with them on a personal basis. But uh, all I know is like I think I've trained myself now to where if that toilet pops up <laughs> in my dreams that I can sideswipe it and just step on and not have to sit down and have to wake myself up in a hurry. <laughs> Oh, wait, kids, wait till you get old, yeah? <laughs> Have a fun life, even if you went to bed. It's okay. <laughs>